Greetings YouTubers, Neil Doss here for Commando Lennon. Today we're taking a look at the very well-known Blue Danube Waltz by Johann Strauss. Now I learned this bad boy from the cool classical themes book, which as always I'll link to below because these books, I mean this and some of the other books I've put up or talked about are just gold mines of, of uh, fun information. Anyway, uh, Blue Danube Waltz. Everybody knows it, but here's how it sounds, and then we'll break it down. Kind of sloppy on my part, but that's where we're going with this. Uh, Blue Danube Waltz, Johann Strauss. Uh, if you like videos like this, mandolin things, uh, there's going to be a lot more coming this way. So uh, subscribe and uh, be sure to hit the like button and the bell and updates and all that jazz. All right, let's break this thing down. All right, it's in D major and starts on the uh, open D note. 4th fret, the F sharp, A, and then that big open D chord. Uh, what you're not playing the whole thing is playing 2nd fret here on the, uh, the G string, and then the open D and A string. From there, 5th fret to 2nd fret uh, on the high E string twice each. You know, I mean, you'll know it in your head once you start playing this melody. Do that again, and this time, I'm gonna go to a seventh chord here. Uh, I got sixth fret on the G string, fifth fret on the D, and then the open A note, which might need to be tweaked a little. There it is. From there, just fifth to the third, which are basically you're just going to a seventh chord there in the high G or high E string. So both together. All right, sixth string on the uh, G. And then you're going second fret on the D and A strings once each. And then let go of that sixth fret and hit the open G with those two notes. One more time. And then from here up to the seventh. And down to the third on that high G. And then doing that little arpeggio again but this time going to a seventh there which really just means second fret I hope it's easy to see second fret here on the G string 
and second fret on the A string. You're basically, from, from this one here, you're just opening up that middle note. And then you back up here, seventh to the second fret. So here's all four phrases together now. Here to the our little arpe D arpe arpeggio, our D arpeggio. But this time you go into this uh, D chord right here on the seventh here, fourth on the D, and fifth. Hold that, and with your pinky, reach up to the tenth fret. that twice and let go of it and reach down under here and grab the fifth the fifth fret and that high G string below there it's hard to show because my fingers are in the way but it's real easy to do one more time keeping everything in place Do this D arpeggio again. But this time you're going on the G chord. Where it's, you know, seven, five, five, seven. And then again, reach up to the tenth. But let it go while just holding that G chord. So those two together are this. So here's all of them together. It's starting to come together here. Man, I swear there's a play in every 60, 30 seconds. I don't know if it's making the tape or not. I hope it doesn't. finish up on now after this all right so we're coming off this uh, part here so it's just a matter of down here second fret on the D string twice fifth fret once and then second fret down here twice Six, open A, and then a D chord, which is the fifth here, and second here. One more time. Then just a matter of hitting that fifth fret, that D chord, or D note, which is twice on the fourth fret, once on the second fret. Lay all your finger across all three bottom strings with that. That's your high note right there. Let go, open A string. And then just the, uh, the D note on the fifth fret with the two open strings below it. And that'll finish off the whole A part. So, one more time, all that with hopefully minimal screw ups is this. Bye. 
right, well, because of time constraints, a.k.a. I have to go to work, uh, that's going to have to be it for today with the A part here of the Blue Danube Waltz. Uh, here with it very soon, within the next couple days, I'll upload that B part, this whole thing. So you'll have the whole thing. You know all this. I know that's half of it right there. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, just within the next couple days, be sure to subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell thing. You'll get the notification when it comes out and you'll have the whole thing. Uh, and again, if you're interested in these things, and you probably are if you're checking us out, Check out this book. Sweet book. It's got a few of these. I might do a tutorials on a couple of the others later on. But uh, so this has been Neil Dusk, Commando Land. We will see you very soon. Have a great day.